Hey, welcome to Jack's Treasures, where we're look, always looking for the meow factor. I'm Brian. I'm Tracy. And we are modern day treasure hunters. Yes, okay. we are. Today, we are working on our unit that we purchased last, uh, last uh, week. week and trying to get this all out of the carport uh, weather. We're making some progress, some serious progress. We actually have a good day starting out so far. Today we are going to open at least a box or two on camera, completely start to finish. Whether it's junk, whether it's treasures, we will let you see what's inside mystery boxes. Yeah. So that'll be fun. But before we get started, we're going to tell you we did find more cash, this time in a wallet. I haven't counted it up yet, but Just to be clear, probably another... Tracy 60, has 70 found bucks. <laughs> all of the cash in this unit. I have found $30. Half of it was a $20 bill that we can't use. The other half was a $10 bill that was falling apart and nobody will take that either. Okay. We did. We already filled this tub up right here for stuff for the booth, which is just amazingly awesome, cool Look stuff. Look at that Shriners bottle. Yep. The a whiskey, whiskey decanter. Just, just a it's cool, cool Georgia stuff. tag. Um, we, we do are, have a bin of Garfield plush here, but I am going to wash them all and completely, um, whatever you call it, sanitize them. I haven't even seen that yet. I love it. Yep. He it is, is so Garfield cool. Bank. I happen to yeah. love Garfield. I'm a cat yeah. lover and I love fat cats. So. This is from 1978. Uh, I was just telling someone the other day that I had, don't ever keep anything for myself except uh, clothes that I work in, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, the cats would break it. I can't keep glass. Huh? I was just telling someone yesterday I don't keep anything for myself out of the units except clothes that I work in, but mm -hmm. I, I would say I would keep that for myself, but the cats would break it. Yes, they would. <laughs> yes, they definitely would. We're but, also going uh, to the dump today. We are. So I'm Trucks the full of, of junk for the dump. Just trash. Yep. Um, we, we do have more trash than usual for this particular unit because while we do try to keep things out of the landfill when we can, we do not want to give trash to Goodwill or charities or things when it's just going to bog them down. That is kind of a pet peeve of mine when people bog down the charities with complete trash. Yeah, we don't do that. Um, it's just, it's not a right thing to do. Because they're going to have to throw it away anyway, and then it costs them money instead of helping them have money. But um, I'm going to take a pause for a minute because we are, like I said, I'm okay, going I to. Does it have money in it? It has something in it. Okay. Well, let's look in the envelope real quick before right. I pause. It is because we're, we're opening every envelope in this unit because you just never know. Okay. It is not money. It is other envelopes. <laughs> This is what I find storage unit. This is what Tracy finds in storage unit. Somebody's got the golden touch and it is not there. But anyway, we're gonna set up a couple of, like I said, a couple of boxes that are completely unsearched and we will show you what we're going through because like I said, a lot of it is trash. Some of it is treasure. And also, invest in a good pair of gloves. These are my favorite. These are MaxiFlex. I literally bought these online because I got a pair of these in a storage unit and it's got a dollar bill sign right here on it. And I still have all the dollar bill, y'all. I love wearing those <laughs> and everything you find in them. But I bought these online, but invest in a good pair of good uh, gloves and stuff like that because you never know what you will find in these boxes. And, stuff and like invest that. in lots of hand sanitizer. Oh, too. gosh, yeah. You know, I bathe in this stuff. Most of the time, we just find it in storage. Yes, units. we do. All right, we'll be back in a minute, and okay. we will do a couple of treasure hunting boxes with you. Yep. We're back. All right, back by popular demand, we are actually going to do an unboxing. We don't know what's in any of these boxes, this one, or we're going to do this one right here. It's got the little rat hole in it. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you pop out, rat will come out. But this is totally new. Or not new. This is something we haven't done in a while. But we're going to go ahead and do it. And we're going to see what we got in this one. And it looks like we're going to have a lot of good Clothes, yeah. Oh. Ooh. All right. T-shirts are good. Yes, T-shirts are actually one of my favorite things to sell on eBay, believe it or not. Vintage T-shirts. All right. This is made in uh, Mexico. Mexico made shirts are usually late 90s. That design right there, that will sell. Um, okay. That 
that type design it sells really well um, I'm not sure who's buying it I don't know if people buy it because it's like retro and ironic or people buy it because they like it I'm not sure okay things like this these aren't too, um, too bad I'm just looking at names this is Eddie Bauer it is but it's just out of fashion it's boring nothing nothing mm, really this there is also Eddie Bauer anything kind of plain like that we're not going to do anything these with. are slips those are slips if they were let me see that blue one there actually oh, oh. anything with like a fancier look to it i can sometimes sell if it's the right brand no brand we'll oh, wait it. it's got a brand right here does it yeah Bear, bar. Valley, bari. Yeah, Barry. nah, we're good. All right. This looks like it's going to be pajama bottoms. bottoms. These are just thermal, thermal shirts. That is new, but still, it's just plain. It's boring. It's extra large. It might be helpful to us. That is true. We do get a lot of our work clothes from storage units. Now, right, this go. right there, that is new in the package, undergarments like that. Yeah. Those sell amazing Bobby on Brooks. eBay. It's not a great brand, but it's... There's another one. This There's stuff, two. eBay. On. There's, that's sheets. sheets. Yep. New. eBay There's fodder one. all day right here. Another pair of sheets. sheets. Gotta be careful with my wording here. Queen set right there. Yep. Another pair, uh, 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 under garment Oh, Fruit shirt. of the Loom, right there. That's, that's what we're looking for. If you find any vintage, um, undergarments in, like, a Fruit of the Loom and Hanes, for some reason, people will pay good for that. That's probably a $25 Dublin, buy Dublin right there. Dublin Fighting Irish. I've never heard of the Dublin Fighting Irish. Actually, a shirt that is pretty cool. But, I think it's, no, it's not handmade. Hartwell, made in USA. Hmm. That's going to be something that might might go up online. Yeah, I'm not familiar yeah, with the Dublin it Fighting really Irish. Cool in the booth because we have all that little Irish stuff. We do. Just so, tossing a tank top. This one's got stains on it. I could already Another see Dublin so Irish. Uh, yeah, but that one's just got too many stains, and I don't think they're going to come out. We got new stuff for this that I want to look at. Mm, it's, it's got stains on it. Oh no, those are just spots. Nah, yeah, we don't need that. All right. There's what looks to me to be a computer bag. That's always interesting. Oh, these are cool. Those are Andrea G uh, Gale. Yeah, I mean they're interesting, but I don't think that will sell. It's just it's a little. It, it's just the, a weird. Style. There's some new stuff right there. Got some Christmas socks. I'll those stick those sick. in the booth at Christmas time for super cheap. Uh, Leslie Fay. Nah. Okay. And see, I asked Tracy these the questions when I say that. All right. It's just like an empty computer bag, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it'll have money in it. <laughs> you should have let me open it if you I wanted to find have. money. It's new. I'm gonna sell that in the booth. I'll sell that for probably about five bucks in the booth. Oh, we got a Christmas present. Yes, we do. Where's Kate? Uh, hold on, before we get to the Christmas present, I saw these. Oh, yeah. Thermals. One, two, two pairs of thermals, three pairs of thermals. Sweet. Those will sell. This is going to, this is a shirt. I think it's handmade. Rhinestones. I might go in the booth. I don't know. I don't really it's not handmade it's just like a cheapy almost no, like bought stains. from like a touristy it's got stains on it okay. all right let's all right. open a christmas present hold up i'm gonna pause for just one second and we'll be right back and we'll open the christmas And we have... It's kitties. Pajamas. Kitty pajamas. Sweet. We will sell that So somewhere. heavenly. Can't beat it. Not bad. Not bad for a Christmas present. Nope. Better, better than most of our Christmas present finds, I will say. 
All right, parachute pants. Parachute hmm. pants actually sell. Depending on the brand. We, you can't really sell like generic ones. You need Nike, you need Reebok. You need, you need a brand for this. This is Pro Spirit. Nah, I wouldn't, wouldn't mess with those unless they had a cool design for those. I'm thinking that I'll wear them. Is okay. cool? And I'm going to do my best impersonation of MC Hammer. These are... They're probably women's, just so you know. This is Athletics Works. Nah. I'm going to let these together. If you want to, baby. I am. Those are all going to sell. Oh. Now that's a full outfit. That will sell if it's in decent shape. And it's brand, brand new. new. It's called yep. Outbrook Woman. See, that's the case where a brand doesn't matter. The style dictates that. <laughs> And there's another pair, so I'm gonna put four pair of those parachute pants, and they they have a Gore-Tex. Is that the name of that? No, it's like just a nylon. All right. Well, I'm gonna put those up, and I'm probably gonna put all four of those pair of pants up there for about forty bucks. And you can say good luck to me. Oh, Atlanta Police. It's in rough shape. It is. I'm just gonna go ahead and donate that. All right, towels. Um, yeah. These I want to keep for cleaning clean rags. Towels. This is not. We get a lot of cleaning towels. We use towels. a lot of cleaning towels. We do. And then what do we got here? Another towel. Oh, stickers. That's nail nail jewelry with little kitty cats on it. So, out of this box right here, kept a lot of yeah, Goodwill. Goodwill. This is stuff that we're going to be putting up on eBay. That's new. Just this. needs wiping Any off. Cool really. stuff right over here and everything uh, uh, like that, plus the, the, the cleaning supplies over there. So, take a pause for a minute. All right, we'll clean this. up and we'll be back with box number two. Yep. Okay, box number two. We cleaned up around the area, put some stuff in, the, put our eBay stuff up there. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. This is garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. It's all garbage right here, but I'm looking down in there. You know. Yeah, a lot of just catalogs, mail. <laughs> catalogs. And it's not all that old. Either. And it's been probably what? Late 90s, 2000s? Something that would like be that. my guess, yeah. I'll go through this one. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? What kind of shoes do we have? We have care, safety, safety step. Safety. Just let those go. I don't want those. All right. Uh, classic treasure box. Probably something we'll take out of the box and yeah, sell well, out of the box. On the, on the, on the, our thing. Another pair of shoes. Faded Glory. They are new. But they're kind of the Bad condition, but even, or uh, which one call it? Can sell those. Yes. Okay. It's all Lucy show. VHS. Yeah, something got a hold of this. Let's see what's in it. Oh. No, that's why they got a hold of it. Old lollipops. Yeah. Yum. Yep. I'm going to be walking into the truck a lot. What do we got in here? Oh, those are good. Faucet those are, handles. Yeah, like, those are probably, might even go up on, uh, on the, uh, uh, on eBay. Oh, that will. Look at that. Oh, with the, the angel, angel Two of them. covers. Yeah, those yeah. are cool. Those are cool. Those will go somewhere for sure. Yeah, those are some other things to deal with. Things I did oh. not think I would find in this particular box. We got a VCR rewinder, which normally we keep, but I don't know about the condition on that one. I'm not sure that'll be. It cleans up. 
Yeah. I'll put test it, in the it fridge. out. Clean it up. Test it out. Yeah. And assuming it works, of course. Yes. We will test. We test everything, by the way. Unless it is specifically marked untested because we could not. Yeah, we don't test it. Just it Latex disposable gloves unopened. We'll do something with those. All right. Okay. This is the Lucy show. Probably not any value. I'm pretty sure this has been released on DVD, but we'll double check. We will double check on the Lucy show. Right. Let's see what we got in here. You think they're shoes? They're not shoes. I wish they were because those are good shoes. It's the shoe box. Oh, that's a shame. Even with the, the, the disc. Yeah, I wish those were brand new shoes in there. Well, the disc I could sell for 10 bucks. And believe it or not, be quiet. Yeah, that's one of Brian's weird little things. He sells random discs that you would think no one would buy, and he just lists them for 10 bucks and waits for someone to buy them. Yeah. What is that? Um, I don't know, but it's got new, new, uh, it looks like it's got new, uh, a food Nutrition item. facts, 12 pieces, one, it's more of those lollipops. Okay, good. <laughs> and there's another box of them right there. No one. So now we know why there was a rat hole in this one. Yeah, they wanted lollipops. They wanted lollipops. Is that a decent basket? It is. That's good. We'll clean that up and that needs to be sanitized, but Actually, after got a tag on the bottom too. After it's been Put sanitized, it'll be useful. Well, this is like the tail of two boxes, too. Okay, I know what that is. That's knee a, brace. Just yeah, knee pad. Knee pad, just toss that. Garbage. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a bag for David's bridal. That's going to go to the trash. Because it's the bridal. Trash bag. Now... All right, here believe we go. it or not really old feminine products sell really well i don't believe these are old enough to sell really well and they look like they're kind of misshapen due to age we'll probably just toss those right. it's a bunch of um hotel soaps and things which we actually do sell but and bullets. these are not very good and a roll of quarters you get 10 bucks and who finds it tracy Smell uh, quarters. Trashing these. Yeah. If they were in better shape, we would probably give those to the homeless shelter, but I don't want to do that in that condition. These are just in too bad shape. Those are, I mean, this, this is the type of stuff that if it was from a different unit, climate controlled, I would gather this up and donate it to the homeless shelter, but I'm not giving them this stuff. That's not a nice thing to do. You want these bullets? Yeah, might as well. We do have some friends that... Um, shooters. Yeah, they take that off of our hands and exchange for dinner sometimes. Because we would never sell anything like that. This is Avon. Wink, wink. I'll lay it to the side. I'll look at it. All right. Well, the, it's basically the tale of two boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We had a good box with clothes in it that we gave a lot of it to Goodwill and some of the, that uh, we're sending into eBay. And then we have a box of stuff that's mainly going to the trash. But we did get $10 and some bullets. $10, some bullets, and some odds and ends over here for us to look at. But again, it's a tale of two, two boxes, and they're from the same unit. Mm -hmm. But this is what you have the to do. The main deal with. problem with this box is that she stored lollipops in it. Yeah. And it was in a non-climate control. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go ahead and end for today. Um, you saw that we found what we found and everything like that in these boxes. We did it. Uh, we did it for you. Unopened. We didn't open up any of these boxes. So we had no idea what was in them. But we're going to go through more of these uh, off camera. Probably not today because it's starting to get hot. And we need to go to the dump because we're yeah. getting full. Yeah, oh, my truck is full. All right. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe um and have a great weekend that is coming up hopefully yep. the sun will stay out so we can and get we got in. dave matthews coming up on tuesday so tracy yes. and i will be at the dave matthews concert 
in Alpharetta's. So we're going to do some cool stuff with that. We're going to Cherokee uh, next month. Yep. So we got that coming up. And I'm trying to fit in a trip to Savannah. So any of our Savannah peeps out there, if you guys want a shout out, just let us know. Uh, let us know the cool places to go to. You want to meet up and talk and stuff. I love talking to people. You can ask Tracy. I talk to people's ears off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have a good weekend. Peace. Bye. Bye.